In this screencast I'll show you how to build a quiz in Brightspace. So first of all you click on Module Admin, scroll down to Assessment and then click on Quizzes and then click New Quiz and I'm going to call this quiz Geography And I'm going to scroll down here, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some questions. So click on this button here, and we can just click New and then insert any of the questions here. But I prefer to actually build my questions in the question library and then create question pools. So I'm going to click Question Pool. And I'm just going to call this pool one and I'm going to browse the question library and I'm going to have a look here click on pool one I want most of these apart from this written response question because that needs to be marked manually so I'm just going to click all of the questions that I've created there that can be marked uh, simply by the computer and click add I'm going to select that I want one from eight and you can also set the number of points per question here. Click save and now these questions have been added within a pool and we'll just get one from all of those eight possible questions. We can keep building up our quiz and let's add another question pool I'm going to just simply call this pool 2, browse the question library again, let's have a look here, I'm going to select these two questions, click add, again this time I just want one from those two and I'll stick to 10 points per question. Click save, and now I've got my second pool in there as well. If I click Done Editing Questions, this will take me back to the Properties tab for editing and creating this quiz. If I scroll down, you can see now I've got these two pools, and it's one from eight and one from two, so I get two questions. Now, if I just want to display one question per page, I can press one in, in this box here and click Apply. I'll now have the questions appearing on separate pages. We also have the option to prevent students to move back once they've answered a question, so you can either tick that or not tick that. And if you want the order of the questions to be shuffled at a quiz level, then we can click that here if we so wish. So that will mean we'll either get question one or question two first, and it will just randomly mix that up. I'm going to leave that unticked for now, so the students will be presented with a question from pool one to start with, and then from pool two. We can add a description, an introduction, we can add a page, header and footer, and then there are some other more advanced options here. We can allow hints, so if the questions that you've built have hints within them, we can either decide to allow those or to not allow those. If we click disable right click, that means that the students can't copy and paste the question text. And we've also got the option to prevent the user from accessing the email tool and instant messaging tool while the quiz attempt is in progress. There are some other tabs where you can uh, put in various uh, options and settings and, and set up the quiz in the way that you want. I'll show you how to make some uh, decisions and set some things up within these other tabs in the next video about deploying the quiz. But for now, that is how you can create the quiz and the final thing to do is to just click save and close.